Finally, Sussex's card returning key and last possessions to Royal vacated Frogmore after six months. After the Frogmore Cottage recall was issued by the King six months ago, it seems that the Sussexes have had to move out as well. They were recently discovered returning the keys and remaining possessions of the royal family, and this makes many people overjoyed. Harry and Meghan have finally vacated Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, six months after the King gave them their marching orders. The last of their possessions has been shipped to California, and the keys returned, cutting it fine before tomorrow's deadline. The pair are now without a UK base and may have to stay with friends or book hotels next time they return to the country, but it seems likely the couple will be footing any bills themselves with a renewed focus on tightening royal spending. In January, it was revealed that the Sussexes were served with an eviction notice on Frogmore just days after Harry's tell-all memoir, Spare, was published. The Grade 2 listed cottage, which boasts five bedrooms and is noted for its homely charms, is due to be rented out. It's unknown whether Prince Andrew will vacate a nearby 31-room royal lodge to move in, following suggestions that the king had planned to move his brother. Frogmore, given a £2.4 million makeover by the Sussexes, is unlikely to be empty for long, according to insiders. It was presented to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex as a wedding gift by the Queen herself, but they stayed at the cottage for just six months. Sir Michael Stevens said, quote, We can confirm that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have vacated Frogmore Cottage. He added that the royal family now has a greatly enhanced asset. The prince last stayed in Frogmore when giving evidence at a phone acting trial earlier in the month, and it's believed that he and his wife would have to reach a private agreement with the king if they wished to stay in any royal premises ever again. The money spent on renovations was repaid to taxpayers by Prince Harry, and after news of their eviction broke, the couple were said to be actually okay with the decision and had an approach of, it is what it is. Meghan and Harry were said to have acknowledged that they were very privileged to have a home in the UK and in the US, but accepted that it was not going to work for them. While the Sussexes stayed at Frogmore Cottage following the Queen's death, they've only been there three times since leaving the UK three years ago. Elsewhere, royal aides may be watching nervously after a three-month delay was announced for the release of a new book by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's cheerleader, Omid Scobie. Earlier today, Scobie tweeted his new book titled Endgame, a penetrating investigation about the royal family's fight for survival, would be published November 21st, three months after its original August date. He promised the book would be full of unique insight, deep access, and exclusive revelations, and it's thought that the publishing date could have been moved to give the author a chance to include inside material through and beyond the king's coronation. Harry notably was sat in the third row of the ceremony at Westminster Abbey and played no formal role in the proceedings, jetting off after less than 24 hours in the UK. With no sign of any reconciliation between the Duke and his father and brother, a change of publication date leads to concerns Scobie could be riding every drop out of the row between the family. Commenting on Scobie's announcement today, royal biographer Richard Fitzwilliam said, He's writing about the royal family, and he's also Harry and Meghan's unofficial spokesperson. Some sensational details are bound to follow. However, how well-sourced are they? No reputable source would talk to him with Scobie. The author's previous title, Finding Freedom, covered the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's decision to step down as senior royals. Mr. Fitzwilliams went on, his book co-written with Carolyn Durand, Finding Freedom, which the Sussexes were discovered to have cooperated with despite their denials, was badly written and pathetically inadequate.